The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. After making the crossing to the other side of the sea, Jesus and his disciples came to the land at Genesaret and tied up there. As they were leaving the boat, people immediately recognized Jesus. They scurried about the surrounding country and began to bring in the sick on mats to wherever they heard he was. Whatever villages or towns or countryside he entered, they laid the sick in marketplaces and begged Jesus that they might touch only the tassel of his cloak. And as many as touched it were healed. The Gospel of the Lord. You know, over the years in the, the, the spiritual readings that I've run across, I'm often left with the idea that we need to prepare ourselves to meet the Lord, that we need to prepare ourselves. And when it's done through uh, spiritual discipline, perhaps uh, readiness in prayer, and the impression that I'm left with is that in order to see God, in order to meet God, we need to be uh, very pure, very um, clean. But you know, I, I think that that is highly deceptive. And I think that even that those thoughts of, of, of that uh, is really a trick of the evil one. Here's why. In today's gospel, here comes God, and, and he's walking into town. And St. Mark says that the people hear about it, and they start scurrying around. That's the word that's used. They scurry around, preparing to meet him. Well, what were they doing to prepare themselves? Two of the most amazing things surface. Number one, they present God not with purity and goodness and cleanliness and rosy, sweet roses. God comes to town and they present him with illness, stench, contamination, infection. And the allegory, the question that is asked of us, I think, by that allegory. Can we reveal our sins to God? Or do we think that we need to hide them, put them away, don't let him see it? Number two, they also present him with their concern for other people. Did you get that? The people aren't getting ready for what they're going to get from God. Some people are forgetting themselves and they bring to him their friends and relatives who are highly important to them and they present them to the Lord. And so the allegory, can we be so generous of heart to let somebody else get into heaven before me? And so as people of faith, let us offer our intercessory prayers. Indeed, as often these days, we pray for the sick, especially those who are infected by the coronavirus, pleading with the Lord to give us relief from this scourge. For this we pray to the Lord. Let us pray for all ministries at Nativity Cathedral, asking the Lord that someday after this virus, we may come back full with energy and enthusiasm in evangelizing others in our parish. For this we pray to the Lord. And let us pray this morning for the intention of our Mass, 
which is being offered for the repose of the soul of Jack Pisarich. May he rest in peace. For this we pray to the Lord. And for what else shall we pray this morning? Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. O gracious Father, on this first day of the work week, on Monday, we give you thanks for the new day. And we also ask you to hear our prayers. We pray all of this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. 